Good afternoon. Today, we're going to take a look at this small portable heater from Amazon. This is an Amazon Basics 500 watt heater. And I was looking for a small heater that would be effective and not draw a lot of power. And I landed on this one from Amazon. I've used it a couple of times and so far I've been impressed with it. It does put out quite a bit of heat. Um, but what I want to know is, is how does it compare to a, a larger heater? If you ever looked at your heaters, regular space heaters like this, you will have noticed that the, they're usually about 1500 watts. And I wanted something that didn't draw as much power, but was hopefully just as effective. So that's what I want to try and find out today. I want to see if the, the heat that this little heater here puts out is comparable to the heat that this heater puts out. So in order to do that, I've got a very unscientific little experiment that I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run each of these heaters for the same amount of time. I'm going to put a washer in front of the heater and I'm going to see how hot that washer gets after the time is up. I'm going to do them independently. I'll try to ensure that the, the test is fair. Both heaters, for example, have been sitting out here just as long. So one heater isn't warmer than the other. It's about 42 degrees in here right now. Both washers have also been out here. So and I'll take temperatures of the heaters. I'll take temperatures of the washers just to try and make sure that we're being consistent and fair. And then we'll, I'll report back with the results. Just a word about this heater before we get started. It's, I bought it for 18 bucks on Amazon. I just noticed today that it's dropped down to 15 bucks. So not a bad deal. It's a ceramic heater. It has a button on the bottom so that if this was to tip over, it would turn off. It is a on or off only type of a heater. There is no temperature setting. I can't control how hot it gets. You flip it on and it goes and that's it. No thermostat, no temperature control, nothing, just on. This one that I'm gonna use for a comparison, it's an older heater and it does have settings. I'm going to assume that the one setting that this has is high. Therefore, I'll throw this one on high to try and again make that the comparison fair. As I stated a minute ago, I know this isn't very scientific. They're, they're different size fans, they're different wattage. This one, perhaps the fan itself doesn't push out the air as much. So if you're trying to figure out which one of these two would heat the room better, or heat a, a room of what size, how effective are they? There's probably other tests you could do that would be far more scientific. I'm just at home, rudimentary tools, and a thought in my head about how can I compare the two? just to try and get some type of a sense for how effective this small heater is. To get started, let's take some temperatures. I'm just going to shoot my infrared thermometer against the cabinet. The plastic cabinet is warmer than the metal grate that's on it, but it's the metal grate is 55 degrees, the cabinet is 60 or 59 degrees. Let's take a look at this heater. 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 62, somewhere in there. So they're both about 60 degrees if we're shooting plastic cabinet to plastic cabinet. 59, 61. All right, so both of the heaters are about the same. I've got two washers. Let's see what the temperature of those washers is. Fifty four and fifty five. So they're about the same as well. I'm going to run each heater for about five minutes and we'll see where they end up. And I'll keep the heaters kind of away from each other so that I don't accidentally heat one of the heaters up. So I'll try again to keep it somewhat consistent here and fair. Got our temperatures. To start, heaters are at 60 degrees, washers are at 53. I just measured them again. We're going to run this for five minutes. I'm going to crank this one on to high. I have the washer about an inch away from the front of the fan, front of the heater. I've got the timer going. And we'll check back in five minutes to see where this one is at. 
and then we'll decide if we want to go maybe another five just for a couple of readings. We'll see. All right, heater's been running for five minutes. We'll take a look at the temperature of that washer. 65. So the temperature went up about 12 degrees. I'm going to let it go for another two minutes. So we're going to have a seven minute test as well. I'll do the same thing on the other heater. It's seven minutes. I just took the temperature of the washer. It is 71 degrees. I'm also going to take the temperature, just shooting it right into the heater itself. Curious. And it looks like that is about 139, 140. All right, time for test number two. We're starting out the heater itself is 60 degrees. The washer is 53. We're going to flip this on and hit start. All right, time is five minutes. The washer, I shoot it right at the top of the washer again to try and be consistent between my two tests. It's 76 degrees at the top of the washer, 77 degrees at the top of the washer. Actually, it made it 78. And I know I didn't test the internal heat with the other heater at five minutes. But let's just for grins do the same thing here. And I, I don't know exactly where to shoot it in there, so I'm just going to keep going until I get the highest number that I can get. It's like right in the middle. It was 180, uh, 183. All right, seven minutes. Temperature of the washer right at the top. I got 83. Temperature inside, right about in the middle of it, I got 185. So what are the results? The results are, first a disclaimer, it's not a very scientific test. That is nice and hot. Not a very scientific test, I understand that, but what I was trying to do is at least be consistent and fair and did the same test on both heaters, tried to control the environment as much as I could. I understand that this fan actually sits a little bit lower than the other one did. That one had a, a little bit taller base. You could argue that the washer was sitting too low and wasn't right in the stream of heat. There's, there's a number of different variables and I understand that. But for, for a very rudimentary test, just to see how do the two compare. What we ended up with was at five minutes, the older heater had reached 65 degrees, while the new heater, this blue one, had reached 78 degrees. At seven minutes, the old heater had gotten up to 71 degrees, while the new one had gotten up to 83 degrees. And then we did on that seven minute test, we checked to see what was the temperature inside. It was uh, 140 on the old and 185 on the new. So in each one of the categories that I have on my test here, this little blue heater at 500 watts outperformed that larger heater, which is a 1500 watt heater. So I think that's a pretty interesting test. The results are pretty good. This thing does pack a, a good punch for being so small. I don't have any, any additional data on longevity. This is the third time that I've used it. I will mention that the first time I used it, it smelled really bad. So keep that in mind. You may want to run this outside in your garage or somewhere first. Maybe have a window open because it stinks. But after the first use that whatever was on it burned off and it, it didn't smell anymore. So overall I would say I'm pretty impressed with this little heater uh, as far as how much heat it puts out. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting, maybe even helpful. I have another test in mind. I'm curious to see how quickly this heater will warm up when it's running off of an inverter connected to a 12 volt car battery. And that touches a little bit on the actual reason that I wanted this heater. So if you're interested in that, look forward to that in another video. Thank you.